پشت پنس و پایین دارم تب سب This is no ordinary birth. These goats are the first transgenic animals in the Middle East. Cloned in a laboratory, the makeup of their genes has been altered, so the milk they'll eventually produce contains a special protein that helps people with haemophilia, a disorder that prevents blood from clotting properly. A month on and the goats are doing well. Doctors hope this research is just the beginning, that these animals can become a living and breathing pharmaceutical factory. We are hoping techniques like this can replace current drugs which are made in big and expensive laboratories. It's fascinating that we can simplify a complex process just in a goat's body. This kind of cloning is nothing new in countries like America. But here in the Middle East, Iran is leading the way. It became the first nation in the region to clone a sheep three years ago. Shangul and Mangul are named after a famous Iranian folktale. They have the blessing of religious leaders in the country. The science that created them is viewed as Islamic and therefore encouraged. Iran wants to show the world it's still a scientific force, but that's becoming increasingly difficult because of international sanctions and an exodus of research talent. According to an IMF survey of 90 developing countries, Iran has the highest rate of brain drain. I think the most beautiful thing Iran can teach the world is that even when you are in a dire economic situation and while the whole world has decided unanimously not to give you the equipment you need, even for humanitarian experiments, you can still go on. Iran's nuclear ambitions are making the country increasingly isolated. Unable to seek outside technology and expertise, Iran has to look inwards. Nazani Mashiri, Al Jazeera, Tehran.